Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are going to be testing out a mask. I'm like so nauseous, you guys. I have the Erno Laszlo Firm and Lift Firmarine Lift Face Mask. This is a two-phase firming mask. This is what the box looks like and I have actually had this for a while and I have used it before and I have loved it. Um, so I wanted to kind of share my experience with you all and I am down to just one mask here but I wanted to make sure that I shared my results and my thoughts with you all. Spoiler alert, of course, I do love it. So before we get into the video, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to my channel and also make sure you hit the notification bell so that you are notified whenever I make a new upload. Also, be sure to add me on all of your other social media platforms. I will link my handles down below. So yeah, let's chat more about this mask. Let's talk about where you can buy it, how much it costs. This is the Firmarine Lift Face Mask by Erno Laszlo. It is $80 for the carton here. And you do get four treatments within each box. This can be purchased at Sephora.com, ErnoLazlo.com. You can also purchase it at Bloomingdale's and Saks Fifth Avenue um, from what I could find. Um, this mask is perfect for normal, oily, combo, and sensitive skin types. And this mask claims to firm, hydrate, soften the look of fine lines and wrinkles, and it cools and instantly plumps the skin. So now let's chat about some ingredients. Now this product also contains spirulina maxima, which aids in collagen synthesis. This ingredient can be found in Erno Laszlo's Blue Range. I have two favorite products from that range, moisturizing SPF and the eye serum. My skin just absolutely adores those two products. This mask also contains Pululan, which is uh, the first time I've seen that ingredient actually, or actually paid attention to that ingredient in a product. Uh, but this ingredient helps to soothe and balance the skin. Um, it is also a good antioxidant. Um, this also contains panthenol to attract and bind moisture to the skin. Let's chat about my skin. Um, I haven't washed it. I'm wearing my regular daytime routine. Uh, I didn't wash it. I just felt like I should just come on and show you all what my skin looks like in real life. I'm also like really nauseous today and I have a bit of a headache, so... It was like a migraine earlier today, but then I took a pill and now it's just lingering. So yeah, let's chat about my skin. Um, I don't know if I should pull you closer. Like I said in my last video, I kind of don't want to. Um, but this is my skin with a regular daytime routine. Um, I've got my deep bronzy, my Murad products and my trusty green screen by Pharmacy over top the skin. Um, I have a little bit of a breakout here, hormonal for sure, and I have a little bit of redness here along the cheeks, but otherwise um, that sensitivity that I was suffering from um, is now pretty much gone. I did use uh, Paula's Choice Retinol um, over the forehead yesterday. Uh, because I didn't want to use it here along the cheeks. So I've really been enjoying the Paula's Choice 1% uh, Retinol Booster. So loving that. Um, any other issues with my skin? I mean, it is aging. Um, I could use all of the firming and lifting. So we're going to try this mask for that reason as well. I don't really have much planned for the rest of the day except uh, filming a, another video and perhaps taking the little guy out for a walk. Uh, but that's pretty much it. Since I've been losing a little bit of weight, um, I have noticed that my laugh lines are... Are present um, and I have noticed that this line here is 
with the products that I've been using, it is, is, it is less defined, but I know it's still there. You know what I'm saying? I have some tragic under eye circles for some reason. It could just be stress. Um, but I don't know. I don't really know what it is because I've been using my retinol youth renewal eye serum and That is my holy grail So it could just be stress. Let's be real. Um, so that's what's going on with my skin. You can You know judge it you can you can see what it looks like so I am going to cleanse with my soy face cleanser uh, this is my favorite to use before filming or after walking the dog just to kind of remove the SPF the sweat dirt grime you know so I'm gonna use those I will be right back and then we will get to masking I have cleansed the skin. I'm gonna go in with the Georgette Klinger Vitamin C Toner on around. Oh no! What happened to this? Oh, it's when I looked out the window. Sorry, guys. So we're going to go in with the Georgette Klinger Vitamin C Toner here. Did make sure to clean my neck a little. Who knows, it's probably filthy. Okay, oh, so I need a little gloss on the lips. So literally almost gone okay so now we are going to get to masking so this mask is a little bit of a two-parter we have step one which is your liquid oh I feel so yum and then step two which is your powder so what you want to do is you want to mix the powder and the liquid to activate preparation you want to apply to cleansed skin avoiding eye area hairline and mask and then you want to allow the mask to dry for 15 minutes and then you want to peel downwards for a refreshed complexion so within the box you will get a mixing spatula i am you can mix your mask wherever you would like a mixing bowl a masking bowl i'm just gonna use this little guy um i think you're supposed to put stuff in it but i'm just gonna use this i have cleaned it of course you all. Cool. It doesn't really smell like much. I know this has peppermint oil, but it does. It just smells kind of like peppermint. It just doesn't smell too much of it. Like it's not too pepperminty, if you will. So now I'm gonna go in with a powder. That is what that looks like, and then I will mix. You should be getting a little bit of a moussey texture, like so. Beautiful. From my previous experience, I will try to work in sections and avoid the hairline, of course, which is why I have this on, but it just kind of moves around. This is what the mix looks like. Oh, this is instantly cooling. I'm gonna try not to talk. probably work best if I weren't sitting and if I were just laying down and being pampered.
Oh. What a relief. My skin feels so cool. We are looking really good. And I'm gonna just grab the cotton around. I'm gonna put some of the Georgette Klinger vitamin C toner over top to help remove some of that debris. But overall, this is what the skin looks like. You can totally tell that some of the redness along the cheeks has been minimized. Um, skin looks brighter, more refreshed. I feel like it looks less plump. Um, and yeah, just overall it feels brighter, it feels smoother, it feels hydrated and plump. I do notice a little bit more plumping here, but I could just be making that up. I'm going to remove this because I have a headache. Oh. So now let's chat about how the skin felt throughout the masking session. I definitely felt a bit of a cooling, soothing, firming effect. Um, as I was masking, I could feel the skin just kind of firm and, and get lifted, if you will. I think that this mask would definitely work for someone in a hot, dry climate uh, because of the cooling and soothing effect. But, you know, if it's cool where you live, that's totally fine as well. But I feel like this mask is perfect for anyone with a huge or major uh, event coming up or you know just even a girl's night out I feel like it's fun to use and you can totally see instant results I just love how firm and kind of lifted and rejuvenated the skin looks and feels after masking from what I've noticed the three other times that I've used this product is that the results last for about three to five days uh, makeup or even a full face of makeup looks so beautiful or I guess after using this facial mask so I highly recommend it um, of course if you know if it's within your budget and you can afford to use uh, this mask at least once a week um, I feel like your skin would look amazing. I think it's a fun mask to use. It's very calming. It's very soothing. And yeah, this is what the skin looks like without even... I mean, I didn't tone the entire face. I just toned the areas where I had a little bit of leftover debris from the mask. But overall, I feel like it's easy to use. Um, you do have to go a little bit quickly uh, when applying it as it does does dry a bit but I feel like if you do work in sections it looks better when you apply it um, rather than going all over and then applying more over top which is what I kind of did at the end because I, I saw that I had a lot of product left on my little mixing bowl here so yeah I'm gonna actually do a routine after masking here so I can show you what the skin looks like after masking so I'm actually gonna go ahead and I'm gonna tone all over even though technically I've already toned and I'm just going to tap the toner over the skin I'm now going to rub So we're tapping and then I'm gonna go in with this new product which I'm testing and I'm so excited this is Murad's Revital Elixir Recovery Serum um, I will be doing a video on this soon I just really want to get a feel for it and see what it does for my skin but this is for the face and the eye area this has caffeine cannabis and it has a neuropeptide and yeah 
This is kind of like your stress SPF, if you will. It is a revitalizing sphere infused serum that visibly re-energizes the skin, smooths stress lines, and renews vibrancy. I have used this four times already. This will be my fifth. So I'm going to go ahead and do a full pump. And that is what that looks like. It's got a thicker consistency than what I'm used to as far as serums. Oh, it does feel very yum on the skin. This is the routine I had done, of course, way earlier in the day, um, so I will just repeat it. I have been using the Murad Charged Water a lot, a lot. Can you tell I have been loving this? So I am going to scoop this amount. And I'm doing deep bronzy because I still have to go out and do stuff. So doing deep bronzy, I'm gonna do that much. <laughs> um, and then I mix. If I use um, the nutrient charged water gel during the day I, and I don't wear foundation, I use deep bronzy and and I will just press and it's literally like splashing water over the face without splashing water all over the face. Alrighty, so now we are all bronzed, glowy, firm, and luminous. I'm gonna go in with my Essential C eye. This has caffeine and retinol in there and an SPF of 15. I typically just tap this over the eye. I'm gonna go in with my trusty Pharmacy Green Screen. If I do wear deep bronzy, this is typically the sunscreen that I go in with. So I'm just gonna press this onto the skin. So this is what the skin looks like after masking with the Erno Laszlo Firmarine Lift Face Mask. And of course, after doing a full routine, at least an AM routine, I went ahead and showed you some new products that I will be testing and that you can probably expect a review on in the future. I hope you guys enjoyed this mask with me video. Uh, please be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And also be sure you hit the notification bell button so that you are notified whenever I make a new upload. And also be sure to add me on all of your other social media platforms. I will link my handles down below. If you'd like to see me try any other masks, please be sure to leave them down in the comment section. I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye. So I'm going to go wash my face and hopefully not throw up. Range. Um, and I have a few favorites 